Sometimes magic is like illusion, right? An illusion can be something common. Something, for example, like charging your phone. But what if I tell you that this was just a piece of cardboard, just an illusion? Come follow me. Welcome to the Magic Attic. Hi, my name is Ming Ta and I am the owner of the Magic Attic. I have been performing magic for 14 years now and I started the Magic Attic at my own home to provide a space for magicians to perform and also bring the craft to the public. Okay, so this is the theatre space. So this is the stage area. It's the backstage where, you know, the magician can prepare their stuff and everything like this. Right. Yeah. The inspiration for Magic Attic, I got it from performing in different places. Uh, one of them, definitely the Magic Castle in Hollywood. Right, having a space that is just for magic and having like hidden compartments, magic props all around as decorations and stuff like that. Having a private theater in my house was also inspired by the House of Magic in UK. So that's basically a bigger theater that is housed in Simon Drake. That's the UK magician's house. And that was the first time I've been to a private residence magic theater. When finally the time was right and I thought, oh, okay, I want to do a magic theater. I didn't want to do it in a commercial space. And I liked the idea of it being a hidden experience. People coming here, not knowing what to expect and then when they open the door, it's a whole new world up here. Yeah, so that's how the whole thing inspired me. So what part of the magic attic is magical or unique? Okay, so if you look around you, almost everything that you see on the shelves, on the displays, yeah. has magic involved in it. Let me show you something. Uh, let's grab a book. Do you like wine? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's use this one. Okay, so basically this is a book of wine. So basically there are different wines in there. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, give me a number between I mean, <laughs> 1 and 95. 1 and 95, okay. Do I tell you the number? Yeah, you can say it up. Okay, 56. 56, yes. okay good. 56. You hold on to this for now. So I want to show you this as well. So this is, um, okay, yeah. this is empty. I'll leave this there for now. Okay. okay. 56. It's 56. Yeah. So if we turn to 55, 56 would be yellow tail. Okay. Okay, yellow tail melot. Yeah. Free choice, right? 56. Free choice, yeah, yeah. Here's the interesting thing. Okay. You saw it was empty just oh, now. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I'll check this out, watch. No. Right here. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not just any wine, but it is a yellowtail Merlot <laughs> right there. Yellowtail. Yeah. Yeah, but this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Magicians, when we are starting out, usually we are thrown straight into a situation where we are performing for a paid audience that is in an environment where they are not really there to watch magic. And I would say that it is not very conducive for the magician because we need to work hard to try to win the crowd over and stuff like that. So why I started the Magic Attic, I wanted magicians to have a safe space to perform. A place where people come here just for the magic. They are not here for, oh, we are having a dinner and just nice, there's a magic show that's happening. They are here for the magic, they are ready to experience the magic. And this is the perfect audience for any magician. Mm -hmm.